Hi everyone, Brianna here from So Cute and Quirky, and I just thought I'd show you a little bit about the process I go through when I'm designing something. Um, I design bags, wallets, purses, things like that, and this is my crossbody wallet um, that also has an external cell phone pocket on it and several zippers and whatnot. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And I always start out with just a hand drawing of things, and you can see it's quite messy. Um, but I go through, you know, my dimensions and my calculations because I do love a puzzle and I like math. But I also like the creativity part of picking fabrics and stuff. So it looks a little messy and whatnot, but for me, I know what's going on. And then it gets made several times and I change things. And then also then I start to put it into my computer and I start designing it on a designing program um that i use on my mac so here i have the 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 wallets and this is the final version here and this is a final version right here too um i'm making several more i've given a couple away um this was one of the first versions and it started out it's a trifold you'll see here it has a cell phone pocket on the back here in here which i thought would be nice to have it on the outside and also just access it very quickly and I wanted a zipper on the top, but I felt like what was happening is if I, anyone had anything like this that you were going to fussy cut, you would ruin that. So I was trying to figure out what can I do differently to change that so you could still have a zipper on the outside. So I did do that. I changed it and I put the zipper right here. And you can see here's the cell phone pocket and this zipper goes like all the way through. Um, very nice, the length of the bag and also this one has it as well so that was something that i changed i wanted a strap because i was asked several times by people you know make a crossbody strap and they can make the wallet only and not with the strap they don't have to add um the tabs or the strap and they can be detachable so you open it up i chose magnetic snaps for these here and you can always use some different snaps or or you can use a hook and loop or velcro um, but I chose the magnetic snaps on both um, for this particular wallet crossbody. And it started out inside where you see I don't have an ID pocket. And my sister said to me, I would like one with an ID pocket, please. And I said, okay, I'll make one with an ID pocket. So I did that. And I also wanted everything that when you fold it up, the credit cards are going to be up. And... Also, the ID pocket will be folded in, and you'll see where I put it so that it actually won't fall out either. And then I have another zipper pocket here, and then here a pocket, but here I sewed it closed. I changed this because I wanted more accessibility of more stuff. Because some people, that's all they do is they carry a wallet. And I'm one of those people that carries a small bag or a wallet. So here and here, I changed it, um, and I added the ID pocket here. And what I did is you'll see, I put it on the inside so that when you fold it, it's actually on the up, it won't fall out. And also same with the credit card pockets. I did eight um, on here because I wanted people to still have a lot of use for their, you know, the credit cards or if they wanted to, you know, put in their shopper cards or whatever it is there. And you still have a pocket here and then another pocket here and a zippered pocket here. So you really have a lot of space for to put all of your goodies in here. You can put another cell phone in here. You can put your keys, you know, either in the inside pocket if you wanted to, a key fob, something like that, and fold it back up. And then it just goes together magnetically. Or if you were to use the Velcro or hook and loop here, and here is the cell phone pocket as well. So this is going to be coming out in September. And I have to say thank you so much to all the people who are going to be testing my pattern, several people came um, after I had put out um, a call out for it and are making this pattern and I can't be thankful enough, um, you know, for someone to go ahead and make these patterns, especially when they're a tester and there are things that may need to be changed or that the wording sounds a little weird or funky and they say, hey, maybe that you should try this or, you know, I've done this and I think this is a good idea. So I like to hear what they have to say. And it really helps me to change as I go because I do love designing and I also love to make um, my own patterns. And so that's why. And in here also, 
just to show you briefly, I fussy cut. Um, this is Tokyo Milk. Um, I love this. It's Neptune, I think is what it is. Love this fabric. And I put the mermaid on the front here. I centered the fish here. And I also on the inside, here's my ID pocket. And then here you'll see, put my my uh beta fish here and then also two more mermaids here again this has two pockets here lots and lots of credit card pockets eight zipper on the inside again and then also as you close it then you turn it over and i showed you the the cell phone pocket and detachable straps or make it without but um all of my patterns have full color pictures with the instructions and i really enjoy making these patterns so check them out um this will be coming out in september and have a great day thank you